We're all aware that in the K-pop industry, the image of a group is everything. New Jeans in particular captured the hearts of fans with their relatable and down-to-earth vibe. The members and the group as a whole were presented to the public as music-loving and dancing teenagers, and fans couldn't get enough of them. However, in the blink of an eye, their image was shattered thanks to Hive labels. New Jeans was considered a breath of fresh air in the K-pop industry. Two months after they made their debut, they became the first fourth-generation group to surpass 10 million monthly listeners on Spotify with only four songs under their belt at the time. Their songs were everywhere. Stores, TikTok, the radio, and they were even covered by idols and groups, some of them who debuted when the members were just kids. But even though New Jeans releases kept breaking record after record, and people started putting the group next to big names like BTS and Blackpink, New Jeans didn't feel like your typical K-pop group thanks to the image that Hybe and Adore had crafted for them. Even their performances feel very authentic, giving the impression that the girls are just a group of friends who decided to perform together at the school's talent show, and not a K-pop group who have a team controlling their every move, and it feels like the members feel the same way. When member Hani appeared on Lee Mujin's show, she was asked whether the group had felt the magnitude of their sudden success. Hani responded by saying that the members have yet to feel the fame, explaining, We just have fun on stage and in the music video set. I think we don't feel the attention or worry too much about it because we're having fun. Doesn't it feel ideal? A K-pop group who doesn't seem to be under the scrutiny of of the industry and their company, and who are just a bunch of young girls chasing their dreams and enjoying themselves along the way. On top of the choreography being very youthful, there are some moments that feel very genuine, like the times when members make eye contact with each other on stage and smile. Most of us know that it's all part of the choreography, but it's easy to forget when the girls seem like they're having so much fun on stage. Honey even said so herself, stating, For hype boys specifically, there are a lot more opportunities to make eye contact with the members and kind of play around with the dance. It helps that the members are very lovable too. They have the same humor as most of us, know of memes, slangs, trends, and references, and are generally likable. They also post vlogs and videos regularly, giving a glimpse to behind the scenes of photo shoots and schedules. Even though they haven't had a chance to build a stable fan base, as it hasn't even been a year since they debuted, the nostalgic feeling they exude and their easy-to-listen songs have made them earn a likability within the general public, which is essentially what's been keeping them at the top. So from a group that seems to be representing the dreams and aspirations of young people, making music for every audience, Hybe has turned New Jeans into an unreachable group. In a surprising turn of events, New Jeans transformed to glamorous brand ambassadors seemingly overnight. Their faces are everywhere, associated with luxury brands, promoting a wide range of products from cosmetics to luxury goods. It's a far cry from their initial concept, and it's left many fans feeling like the group has lost touch with what they initially stood for. On October 28, 2022, Honey was selected as the brand ambassador for the luxury fashion brand Gucci and then Armani Beauty, followed by Danielle, who was selected as the global ambassador for the luxury brand Burberry and YSL Beauty. Then Minji was selected as the Chanel ambassador, Hain became an ambassador for Louis Vuitton, and Hayden for Dior. As much as it's impressive that such young idols are able to bag brand deals as big as these, all of these have drawn a wedge between new jeans and their audience as they don't particularly welcome this image change. Now, we all know that celebrities are richer and more influential influential than most of us, but that doesn't mean that they don't try to present themselves as relatable. Just like models make countless declarations of love for pizza, or ordinary celebrities joining TikTok trends, famous people want the public to believe that they're just like them, as the sense of relatability creates a stronger sense of connection between the public and them. New jeans are the same way, and even if we all know that it's a marketing ploy, young people feel seen and heard through their music and interviews, and now that the members are getting associated with brands like Dior and Burberry, the relatability has just vanished into thin air. As a commenter put it, they just feel like another group of rich kids for rich kids. Fans and people following the group hope that the company would have let the girls build a luxury image over the years and not practically push them into it when it doesn't fit anything that they've been doing as a group so far. Instead of flashy makeup and outfits, the girls so far have been styled in a more innocent and natural way, appropriate for their age. In the music videos for Ditto and Cookie, they wear schoolgirl uniforms, while in OMG, they dance to the charming choreography while carrying backpacks shaped like stuffed toy animals and wearing bunny hats. Their music video sets are simple too, such as a sports field or a studio with only a bench as a prop. This is in contrast to the flashy dance moves and heavily edited music videos with CGI effects that are common among other K-pop groups. This has all been done so the audience can connect with them, as the idols in this case feel approachable. So it makes you wonder, how did the girls go from shooting music videos in school uniforms one day, and the next day, Hayne is telling us about the things that she carries 
carries in her 4,000 euro Louis Vuitton handbag, despite the fact that no ordinary 15 year old owns it. They do have some deals that are fit for their age and image, like McDonald's, Levi's, and Coca Cola, but seeing them as the face of luxury products feels like seeing children in their mom's heels. There's nothing about Dior that's appealing to the youth, even though New Jeans is intended to attract younger audiences with its teen pop aesthetic. Many netizens have voiced their desire to see the group endorse more age appropriate products that are accessible to teenagers, while also incorporating luxury brands to strike a better balance. Not to mention the fact that New Jeans have been chosen to advertise these products to teenagers who can't afford these clothes themselves. We're all aware that these brand deals are all coming not because the members are influential enough to get people to buy luxury products, but because of hype. Since hype is one of the biggest companies in K-pop, it's probably not hard for them to secure any brand deals for them. Sure, New Jeans are popular, but not enough to become ambassadors of luxury brands when it hasn't even been a full year since they debuted. Even if they were, as mentioned, none of the members fit the brands representing them, but pushing them so much so early on can be harmful in the future. It also makes it hard for the girls to be taken seriously, since people feel like everything has been handed to them because they're under hive. Groups like Blackpink and Twice grew into their luxury images, and it made sense for them to become ambassadors of luxury brands later on. But new jeans are still young, still building a public personality and a relationship with the audience, so for them to become faces of brands that other groups got through growing popularity and hard work feels like things are getting served to them on a silver platter. Not that they didn't work hard for everything that they've achieved, but this element of their career doesn't feel as authentic as it does with older groups. The same goes for other opportunities. Just recently, Danielle was chosen as the voice actress for The Little Mermaid. While this is an amazing achievement for her, people couldn't help but feel like the fact that she was offered the role in the first place was a bit suspicious. The role of Ariel would normally go to a vocal powerhouse who can convey the emotions in each song, like Danielle's Western counterpart in the role Halle Bailey. Roles of this nature are given to musical actresses with classically trained vocal background, and while Danielle has a lovely voice, most agree that she isn't fit for the role. However, considering that Hype has a deal with Disney+, Plus, it's no surprise that she got to bag the role. As Hype keeps pushing them into gigs that they normally would have gotten later on in their career, New Jeans' accomplishments are most likely going to be called undeserved because not only a year after their debut, they're achieving things that other idols don't even dream of having until they're a few years into their job. So even though we are all aware that companies only exist and do everything to make money, Hype and Adore should have been smarter in the way that they market New Jeans and their image so they could secure longevity for the group. When their audience doesn't relate to them anymore since they don't regularly purchase Louis Vuitton or Chanel products, they will lose the spark that made them stand out and even their popularity. These brand ambassadorships and other achievements are just proof that the girls are successful, and while we're happy for how far that they've come in such a short amount of time, success does come with a price that may cause them to fall. Let's hope that that doesn't happen though. What are your thoughts on this? Share them in the comments and see you next time. Bye!